of you listening to us. Thank you for joining another episode of the Coffee with Delis podcast. I am so excited for this particular episode. Um, I just want to let you know that we see your comments. We appreciate what you're doing in the comment section. Thank you all for your text messages that you sent to us. We really appreciate it. Thank you also for some of the suggestions that you want us to talk about. Um, today with me in the studio, of course, is the amazing trio. We are out to share, learn, and to grow together. Um, I just want to let you all know that we are all together on this journey. It's not just about the, about the three people um, doing the podcast. It's about everyone that is watching and listening to us. Okay. So today, um, I, I just want us to talk about something really random, right? Um, it's not going to be like an official topic, maybe about us or... It's something that I think it bothers us a lot and it cuts across every community. It's, it, it's something that can happen to anybody. It doesn't matter your location. Um, it's it's a hide my ID story that a lady sent to me and I posted it on the blog. I posted it on the yard, on Instagram and Facebook and it had some reactions. And I just want to talk about it because some people that are not um, on Instagram and Facebook or they don't have time to go read all the comments and read stuff. So I just want us to talk about the topic so it's on my phone i'll go ahead and read it and then we'll talk about it and then there's some words that we're going to change for the purpose of this podcast you know um because we don't want to put some kind of languages on you know so um when it gets to the place where i want to change i will just go ahead and change it so this the story goes like this dear yard mama happy new year to you and the rest of the yard I have a very terrible experience that i would love to share because my heart is so heavy and i can't breathe properly I have a 13-year-old girl who lives with me and helps me take care of my two children while I see um, two children while I see her through school and bring her up like my daughter. Around the end of last year, this little girl started acting funny. I thought she misses her family, so I sent her back to her parents for the holiday. As soon as the break was over, I brought her back home. I normally don't like her staying with her parents because there is no control and she's kind of loose over there. Few days ago, I heard some funny news around the neighborhood, and I just ignored. Yesterday, a friend of a friend and neighbor came to me and said she's telling me because she doesn't want me to be completely lost because she feels like I don't know what is happening. And then she told me that everyone in the neighborhood knows that my husband has been sleeping with this little girl who lives with me as my own child. God knows I almost passed out from hearing this heartbreaking story. I didn't dismiss it, so I called the little girl in the, in the evening when everyone had gone to bed. When I asked her, she confirmed that every time I'm sleeping, my husband comes back to her room, to their room, and sleep, you know, sleeps with her. So for the purpose of this um, podcast, we're going to say ta-ta-ta, or, you know, just so that we can cover the word up. Yeah. So sleeps um, ta-ta-ta with her, and my children all sleep in the same room with her. She told me my little daughter also knows about it because sometimes she wakes up and sees them but doesn't know um, but doesn't know what's happening, so she just goes back to sleep or something. Dillis, I am an elderly woman. When I tell you that I am shaken by this madness, I feel like running away, but my kids and this young lady need me. And I'm just gonna say lady, she said later. Yeah. I told I I took this child out of the village for fear of such, only for it to happen right in my house, under my nose, by someone who is supposed to, supposed to be or act like her father. I just want to say there, just say there absolutely, oh, I just want to say there is absolutely no safe, no safe place out here. Let's look out for our children. The molester can be in our household just in case wow oh. i know i feel the same way yeah man that's heavy it's really heavy the molester can be in our household that's that, that's a, that's a strong one right there yeah because most of the time we're trying to shield our loved ones uh from the external forces from what's out there yeah. and how do we shield them from ourselves from our own house we're not looking most of the time we're not looking we we're looking for the enemy from outside but when the, 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 the bad person inside. is inside, inside. It's, it's, it's an inside you're so you're it's so blinded hard. you don't even because you think that home is safe home is is protected home is or the child is protected whilst at home 
you're thinking like, oh, um, I don't think anything can happen. So you're not even vigilant. Yeah, that's because you're thinking, you know, exactly. only for it to happen right under your nose. So if this perpetrator were to come from outside, mm-hmm. come closer to you, Mike. If this perpetrator were supposed were to come from outside, maybe she would say it because she's looking. But she's yeah. not looking from within. Yeah. That's the worst part of it. Yeah. And it's just, I, I don't know where to start with this story for real. Like, this lady must be devastated as we speak. Of course. It's I, just... I not. actually tried to, you know, continue with the conversation with her to kind of find out her state of mind. Me being a, a, a lawyer, I wanted to find out if she has reported the case and that's that's the continuation of the story. You know, I just want us to talk about this part that we know. And then I'll bring up the, the subsequent um, conversation that I have with her. You know, the, the the funny thing is the story just kind of ended. We don't know if, um, from her story, she didn't say whether she was going to take any kind of action. action. You understand? And one thing that I want to say about um, this situation is that you bring a child. Like I'm trying to I'm trying to be in the lady's shoes. Right? You bring yeah. a child, you take a child out of a village from her explanation. This place where the child lives, the child is kind of loose. There's no control. Unsafe. You take the child out of that place. Thinking that you're bringing the child to a place where you can protect the child. Yeah. Right? It's a, it's, a, it's a win-win situation. for. Oh, it's supposed to be a win-win situation. Win-win situation. Both of them. Yeah. She's bringing this child out of that environment for the child to come help her grow up with her own kids while she intends to take care of the child and send the child to school and stuff like that. And then only for that child to be molested in, in your house. house. Maybe, maybe that child, she said the child is like 13. 13. She's well, barely a that's, teenager. That's, that's a baby. Yes. And guess what? From my understanding or from my subsequent conversation with her, she made me to understand that she knows for a fact that that child has never had any kind of ta-ta-ta experience. The very first one was with her husband. Oh, that yeah. is what is killing her. You know how you take, like, you take the pin like, out of that place saying, I'm trying to protect this child. So only tata ta when it's time and when she's ready, only for you to bring her and hand her to your over house, to, your husband. to the tata ta person. Oh, God. That's, uh, that's I, I, I really just wish we could, uh, you know, find out how the neighbors and the neighborhood people knew. Because, again, from experience from my, from my line of work, mm-hmm. uh, m- I've been, I've read a lot of cases where, you know, uh, people exposed to this kind of uh, abuse mm-hmm. are insiders. Okay. Fathers, brothers, uncles. sisters, uncles, they are trusted people. That's a higher percentage of that. Of abusers are, of abusers from, from... are people that we know, we, yeah, trust. That we trust. And that's what makes it even difficult to report. Yes. Yes. Especially in in a, in a community like uh, this community in which it happened, I think it's right. uh, in, in back home, yes, somewhere in Africa, right? Yeah. Yes, it, where we have this reputation to protect. To, to protect. Like, yeah. am I going to shame me? I'm going to guess people shave my husband for, but she, he did something terrible. Yeah. Yes. And it's, it's terrible, it's and it's there is no way you want to uh, uh, protect this person, kind of person. From, f- f- from the law because. They did something horrible, yeah. and I really think they have to pay for it. I started by, I started by applauding the lady because this lady has very good intentions for this case. Yeah. For those who do not may not understand the context, it's, it's common practice, right? In these societies yeah. where uh, you could live in the city and you have kids, you're working, you want, you need help, right? It's not there's no agency where you could like uh, outsource or, 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 or send your kids to a daycare there's not no such thing really established right mm-hmm. it's a little bit but not a lot so in this case most people will go to a, a, a village a or a, a remote area where they don't have a lot of privileges mm-hmm. and maybe get somebody like in this case trying to save that child from that hostile environment mm-hmm. bring them and get into a win-win situation where the child helps her bring up her kids Maybe look look after yeah. the family. Yeah. And, and, and she in turn sends that child to school because where this thirteen year old girl come from, she didn't she doesn't have or she didn't have any chance to go to school. Go like to school, yeah. so this is yeah. her like her exit ticket out of that poverty or yeah. whatever, right? Yeah. That's it. So, so, so she's trying to help her out and. I applaud this lady because she has good intentions, right? At the back of her mind, she's trying to save this child from that hostile environment and give her an education and keep her safe. Mm-hmm. Now, the irony of life is 
she just delivers her straight into the hands of that thing that predator. She, that predator. So yeah. this is just so heartbreaking. Yeah. Like taking from what Lioness said, like um, when they read about from his work experience, when they read about stories of um, Tatata um, or SA, it's usually coming from somebody that is in the house or somebody that is well known by the family. Mm-hmm. Um, one time I did, um, some kind of, um, survey, is it sur- sur- yeah. I survey, always, survey. I always make something. <laughs> <laughs> so I did that one time. Um, I was, I was just asking, asking random people and or random, uh, and we, we actually put it online at one time, put it in groups and we're trying to ask people like your first ta-ta-ta experience. Do you know that the majority of the people or the majority of the answers came from people who said their first ta-ta-ta was with house helps? Hmm. Yep. Whether houseboy, housegirl, gate man, gardener, whatever. The majority came from that, or the majority of the people said it happened with, you understand? It could be a child and the house help was ta 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 in you, mm-hmm. you understand? Or you were grown enough, and then the, the house help or house boy was younger, you were tata in the house, you know. You, you have to. It happened, <laughs> it happened in that setting. And yeah. then there was, a, there was another um, um, amount of people that said it came from family members, like direct family members, not just house help. Or whatever. Incest involved. Yes. Yeah, right? incest and then was... another group that came from stepfathers. Yes. Like, you, and you, then, like your, your, your mom's. Husband. Husband. And then I had a couple of them that it happened to them by their fathers. That's even more disgusting. Very, yes. very, very disgusting. Yes. And I think one time last year we had a story, uh, like just like a similar story like this. We had one and uh, the, the lady, it was actually done to her by her father. He would drug her and, you know. So, I mean, I'm just bringing up all these things just to say, to tell uh, you guys, how random it is! It, it it is a taboo. It's almost like oh my god, when you hear this, so you're like oh my god. But it happens every day. I think it happens more frequently and than we want to admit. Yes, yeah, right. And like what you said, because of the kind of society where we come from, we we actually hide the criminal, mm-hmm. and we we, maybe, we try maybe, to cover. Cover yeah. the person, maybe instead you, of exposing maybe, them, and, and giving them the victim, giving them the chance to even the victims, yes, yes. Yes. Now, why did you let yourself do uh, yes. yes. that? Let my, it happen to you. My comment you section, well. my comment section is That's some bull crap. Some, yeah. some people sorry, in the comment man, section you, talking you about you cannot victim shame. Why did she say something? Why did I, 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 you know, people don't understand what it means by somebody molesting you? That's trauma, it's trauma. First of all, before that person might even cultivate the thought for can do whatever we're doing for you, they don't already study you. Yeah. Yes. They know there's a weak point, there's a loophole somewhere, right? They know you. Look at this. Let's look at this particular instance, right? This is a little girl that they brought from the village. She's living in this man's house. What did the man tell her? Look. There's authority. There's authority. There's authority, yeah. The man tells her, if you don't let me do this, I will send you back, back to the village. I will even tell your madam that you're the one that has been trying to. I will cut your allowances. I will do this. I will kill you. If you tell anybody you are going to die, that is a child. She doesn't know any better. You cannot come and start telling me those kind of things. Yeah, of course. I'm, I'm grown. I'm old. You, you, know, you know a thing or two. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm not trying to take this lightly, right? But I, I, honestly, yeah, I, 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 know, right in the mood. I, I know. Yeah, that was that was a good one. I, I mean, I know a thing or two. I'm grown. You really cannot tell me some kind of things, and I'll just fall for it. But that's a child. Yeah, my, my ticket, my... So when I, when I see people in the comment section saying, "Oh, but why agree? Why?" He, he, he... No, the child didn't have a choice. He didn't. He didn't, he, he didn't agree to it. I don't think that child was looking at the the, the, the man and say, "Oh man, I wish I could." That child doesn't know what he's doing. Right. No, the, another part of it is she, he is doing this, abusing this child in their room with her he's own kids, yes. with his own kids. He's so his own kids, his own kids are saying it like. As she, as she said, yes, she yes, will wake up. One of the kids will wake up. The daughter will wake up and see them and go back to sleep. Yeah, you not can, really understand, yeah, but knows exactly. You you, you, you cannot that say that these kids no. don't know for real. This one thing I have kids and right. kids know yeah, no. stuff. Like that yes, little girl has that picture, has that video in her mind. Yeah, and she will think about it. She knows what's going on. No. 
she may not know that she is morally wrong, wrong. Yes, but she knows that this is going to be something or, or guess what she has that 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 image image in her mind she doesn't know, know how, how to, to tell it to no, no, not even how to she knows she doesn't understand what actually is happening but when she gets exposed she will know she oh, then that, it will that, ring a bell in the it's like oh my yeah. goodness the thing is she doesn't know how the moral construct of side is exactly. what is wrong what is right so it, that little girl may think that what her daddy is doing with the house help it's is so just funny. what things that people do mm -hmm. right it's not a thing it could be a play it could be a joke something yeah. that is yeah. like some but when she grows up to find out that that is actually not within what the norms wrong? of society she will, yeah, she will come out and say oh this it's wrong. I'm, I mean, she would, it's just terrible for that child to be yeah, allowed to speak about her dad. so messed up. Yes. So messed up. And I think that's one of the reasons why, you know, I, come to think about it, when I had my conversation with the lady, I was asking her how she got to find out about it. She said, it, was, it actually came from her little daughter. You know, yes, yeah. kids were just playing, right? Mm -hmm. And then I think she said one of the kids was talking about the, the, the parents, probably she saw the parents, you know, mm -hmm. together. Doing and, the same thing, like... Yeah, and then the, the little girl was like, oh, yeah, sometimes my daddy would, you know, come that, to our room and oh, be on top of... This other know. person like yeah. that. So, this other child that was talking about it is older than this lady's daughter who has been seeing that. Oh. So, she, this other one is more exposed. She, cool. she, she, she understands she, better. She understands better, right? So, she takes it back home. Mm -hmm. And says it to her parents. And they ring After bell. talking about it with her siblings as well. Yeah. So, now, so the story now, the siblings then tell their own friend and yeah. to go quarter. So, the story don't walk her inside quarter. quarter. No, they tell And some woman. neighbors, they don't call the woman the girl picking. Mm -hmm. Say, and hey, you talk, say, because I don't want to say that this one talk. Yeah. So, you talk, say, then so other one don't corner the picking way, the the ta 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 right? Mm -hmm. Corner you now. Ask you, say, now tell this way it happen. You know how people can Confirm. be nosy. In this point, in this case, I don't even think he's being nosy. They just wanted to know. He said, he, he first of all, deny. Then they were like, right. they tell your mommy. We'll go. And then she was like, okay, yeah, that's what's happening. Then, I mean, she kind of knows it's wrong. She's 13, but she knows it's wrong. That's why she kind of refused. Maybe the, the, the man that told her. Because the man told her that, the, that she was going to die, she would kill, uh, he would kill her. No. Guess you know, what? There, there must have been a threat for if you go and report. Yeah. Now, or if he talk is about talking it. now, and it, it doesn't look like a report. Yeah. It's like I've been confronted and I'm giving that feedback. Oh. But, you know, if if it was for son, I go and meet uh, uh, Ogamama mm -hmm. and be like, okay, this is what has been happening. Yeah, yeah. And now, the 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 dad's Right now, mm -hmm. come to pass. Yes. Uh, come to pass. Yeah, yes. Now the poor woman too, who, is, who, who sends this story to your to, to the to the blog. Mm -hmm. Like this is the thing I don't understand. Not understand. I understand, but this is the thing I I really find. You can. Uh, I can wrap my head around when it comes to these things. When you are the victim, or not the victim per se, when the thing is about you, everybody else knows except you. You. So yeah. she's in like the laughing stock of the neighborhood. Oh, that yes. is you. Just look at her. Like, look at that one. Yes. You know, so she so said. Like, so she said she strange. realized. She realized that after the other neighbors had questioned the, the daughter, right, and asked her about it and she had confirmed so uh, she she said according to her this 13 year old was already scared like okay maybe something might happen to me mm -hmm. i might die as daddy said if i tell anybody i'm gonna die he's gonna send me away and stuff like that so she started acting funny every time the mom would call her out for something bad she would kind of retaliate according to me okay ahead it's it's about happening very soon you know mm -hmm. So I mean, nobody but, knows. Yes, nobody knows exactly what was going through in her mind. That's why she was asking for it. That's why the mom was saying that she thought that she missed home. That's why she sent her back to to her well, family so this, to spend the holiday. This woman kind of hints to the fact that uh, this thirteen-year-old girl was trying to be like confrontational with her and like rivalry kind of stuff. Like I'm doing your man or something like that. Did she? No, no, so, it, it was nothing close to that. Because when I asked okay. her, she said no, it was nothing close to that. It was more of the child was. Kind of, yes, she was trying to. She wasn't the child that she she knew. Mm -hmm. 
You know you know you're picking no. You know your second daughter, right? I know how if something happens, if she if she starts folding, it will know something is wrong. Of course. Because she's yeah. always everywhere. Now that was a child that uh, she said when she comes back from work, mommy, we did this today, we did that today, we did. After some time, she was no longer that person. It is shy away. It is you know. And then those are signs of SA. Then when 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 they be living like assignment, like like okay, before I come back, you know what to do now. Wash the dishes, take care of your siblings, let them make sure they take a bath, um, you warm the food, and it. Now, the woman said, because this woman is very educated, my conversation with her was really, you know. So she said, from her understanding, the thing they don't worry, they picking now in neighbor they don't know. You don't know what I mommy know or not, yeah, or not. All things they go through for your mind, you for understand? A child for a child, right? to the much. extent that that's she will much. forget her chores. So when the mom will come back from work, why would I not wash pan? Picking a not chore. Oh, mommy. Now that time you realize she's she traumatized like she's Her mind is I think, it was, I think it was when the neighbors um, questioned her that she understood that something wrong was going on with her. Mm -hmm. Something wrong was happening. That's why she started, you know, having all of these things going on. And then the mom was like, so when the mother, you know, of course, you know, I don't come back three days. I holler you yesterday. They say, make sure something's picking and try, you know, do one. Try thing. to work. So the same thing. They beat her up. He just lock up the mom. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. For in mind, okay, those things are about to materialize already. Yeah, she's already threatened. That she, she feels like that thing is going to happen. Yeah. Exactly. All the things that that told exactly. Her. So the, 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 the lady said, "Oh, she thought that. Uh, you know what? Let me send her home. Let her go and see her people for for some yeah. time. Maybe when she comes back, she'll be okay." She said immediately after the festive period, he goes straight away. Say no 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 man no give you time before she's thirteen at that yeah. time you know you don't the show maturity and she because a boy man not knowing that this it, has been going on to the child for the longest time and then when he come back when she brought the the little girl back then I don't know she said she doesn't know exactly why but she thinks because the neighbor noticed that everything was still just like you know mm -hmm. say I, I don't think said the woman not ready to go. We all okay. man, we don't hear no, no. about them. All the man, na ye one the worker for quarter. So when they called her and told her, when the neighbor come at this, and said, "No one made the worker," because she just say, "From my understanding, you don't know what is going on." Yep. The, neighbor, the neighbor told her. She said, first of all, she would have said, "God forbid, he's my husband. I know him. He cannot do such." Or he go like kind of support his husband. Mm -hmm. She said, "Till these things happen." Things happen. He said, I did not dismiss it. But I wanted to talk to the child myself. I did not go and confront my husband immediately. Mm -hmm. I did not confront the child. I wanted to talk to her first of all. Yes. You can't confront Later that night, yes. She called the little girl. Asked her. She said yes. So he kind of, you know, asking, you know, he said, you know, put them. She didn't put the situation in a way that the child would, would think that well, well, you are like, wrong. Like the child is breaking loose on yes. her, right? Mm -hmm. She said they should just have a conversation. And that, the that child is really smart. Yes, and she the child really, opened really, really up. Smart, and very tactical. Very tactical yes. with the way she handled it. Exactly. She opened up and said her own daughter even knows about it. Yep. As children, you know, they yep. inside their room, they be talking. Mm -hmm. They don't exchange that conversation Sunday. So if you tell the woman, say, your, your daughter knows about it, that was, the woman say. So you do, you know you do hear some story, and you're like, okay, and then you hear the one where he finish you all. <laughs> mm. Imagine a picking and they see that kind of thing oh. from their papa, and that is where the problem is. Now this sick person, this uh, individual, this man, this abuser. What do you think? I don't even know. There's even no way to start thinking. I'm not a psychologist. Start thinking what happened to this person that they become so that they become so messed up that they can do this to so, and, so a child. What, what do you picking? Have you had situations like this? Like, what do you think? Like, is always the cause of people go, doing this? Like men doing this? Look, no. Maybe Lana has something to say. Now, the, the, the first, the first instance is usually that the man or the woman has been abused. All right, they, they, they have been. Uh, the molester has been abused. Yes, before. has been abused before. 
So it's kind of like an okay. According to them? Yes. It's kind of like an okay. You see, it's, it's so this ideology. It to some I've, other I've, person? I've heard a lot about it, it's, but I feel like if something like that happens to you, right, you grow up, right, you know wrong from right, especially in this situation. Why don't you make a change? Why don't you break that? Why do you go and start with another person? It, 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 it's kind of difficult, trust me, when you haven't opened up. about. If it. you don't open up about it, you cannot break out of it. It's difficult. Let me not say you cannot. It's <laughs> difficult to, to break, break out, out of it. it. Okay. Yeah, yes. Yeah, that's. I, I think that's where uh, counseling and, yes. and and therapy. And you know how this in Cameroon. So now, if it's over here, they could, if it's in America, for example, you go to jail probably. You go to jail, but you go to therapy at the same time. Therapy. therapy and all this psychotherapy stuff like that. Yeah. They can help you through that, right? Now, in the situation of uh, this lady or this man or this chili all of them need therapy right now. Yeah. Everybody like, needs therapy. Everybody needs therapy. Even the neighbors. Oh, oh my God. Kids, those, the yes. men's kids who witness this yeah. need therapy because it could resurface in the adulthood and yeah. traumatize them somehow in their own relationship, in their own marriage. In they, they, they might just not trust in their own spouses yeah. because of stuff like that. So they need a lot of therapy now. How do they get it? Do they? Can, can, is it a thing like a thing thing over there right now? It's not. It, Unfortunately, no. Unfortunately, it, 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 it isn't. isn't. But again, you know, the 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 the, the, the can are there are there people who can even though they are not therapists are they no, 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 no. they are they are actually therapists. But um, how many how many people can afford them? How accessible are they? Yeah. You understand? And how will people be comfortable? Opening up. Opening up. Open you know how you did know, back no. home now? Stigma. 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 You go, you go, you go, go meet your, 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 your therapist. You tell her, hey, you know, you go, eh? So, you know, mama, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, your own therapist. Yeah, so your own therapist will even break you. You, you as a client, you, you don't have a, a privacy as, as such. You don't have that safe mental yeah, space. You don't have that safe yourself. mental space to yeah. express yourself. Yeah, this Just is, like, like here, man, you try that. That's the end of your that's your, end, that's the end of your license, your everything your license, is gone. Yeah, so. Okay, now, let, talking about what, what me, me, oh, I try as much as possible not to focus on that, somebody that has been molested before, not taking that away, though. I mean, to the people watching and listening to us, we are not taking away from the fact that, yes, if it be, oh, say, person, you know, there could be somebody that has been molested before and has not been able to heal from it, yeah. And that person can turn around and become a molester, right? Themselves, yeah. Now, my problem is that I know my own conviction no? and I say a pervert is a pervert. Because nobody say we we'll try to minimize any kind of molestation, right? For you to think of molesting a child is on another level. That's just ridiculous. Better be you na like how would you call them for regular for normal balance thief last mm -hmm. the work I do one with with adults A right sensing adults big women right mm -hmm. then for you for take like this, this you child, seek and take like, advantage I of think a child this, this person is even like they not they not they not get that courage for even I don't know forget a person where he he chat them he agree. <laughs> But you're married, like he said, now, man, you have now, a whole wife with you. You can tata -ta as many times as possible. Now, is it is it some some breakage in uh, that communication or that uh, I don't know between the husband and the wife that leads them into going? Not I mean, if you have to go, he goes for somebody else, like a, like a. Not to I'm, not trying, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not trying to be a devil's advocate, right? I'm just trying to understand as, how yeah, somebody will sit and think of, and then guess what? This has been going on for years. It didn't start when the, the child, child was thirteen. Child was let me, let me shock you guys. Yes, it didn't start when the child was thirteen. Yeah, there, there's something called grooming, right? Uh, yes. When this yes, I was going to come to that. It starts with grooming. This abuser is an, I don't think it's an, an expert, right? They start by making certain things normal between themselves yeah. and the victim, yeah. right? It could be maybe just bathing them when they just 
small things that are normal yeah. and they groom that person into what they are doing. They want. Yeah. So in that case, when they get to the actual ta-ta-ta part, it's just a continuation of what has been happening. Yes, part of the, group. Yes. the transition is very smooth. Smooth. With most of yeah. So they don't, they don't just come one and hop on the child and start ta-ta-ta. No, no, it doesn't happen it's that way. Yeah. And that is why we always have more of insiders because they have all the time in the world, right? To do that. Nobody's watching them. They do it bit by bit and it gets to be so. Point. It is terrible. Now, that, that's where there is a difference of an actual crazy person. Mm-hmm. Because you must be crazy to want to do a thing like yeah. To groom, it, it shows that you have it's intent. You, you've had, yeah, the it's been meditated. Mm-hmm. You understand? Yeah. But someone who is just messed up by the experience of being exposed mm-hmm. does not groom like that. Yeah, they just do it. They just want to do it. They just want to do it. Oh, I guess yeah. that's the... you, you, you hardly groom because you, you don't. Yeah, you that's what I'm done. Yeah, but somebody who is really messed up, who is really a predator, like. Mm-hmm. Predator, like for what it is, mm-hmm. you, you 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 methodically do it. Yeah, this 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 dude, this man is a, is a predator. It's a sexual predator. Right? Yeah. sorry about it's that. So it's sick so sick. Uh, so, what do you think? As you, you as a legal mind, right? Yeah. Huh? As a legal mind of the panel, we are just talking anything that we can talk. But you now, yeah. what do you think are the, the the next steps for this woman if you were in their shoes? Okay, so um. Me, if I find myself in a situation like that, <laughs> you guys know me. <laughs> that man don't die. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, dead meat. I, I don't condone certain things. But you, it's a honey that you love so much. No, that's a child. Okay, good, you understand? Good point, good point. <laughs> that is a child. In me, if you feel do that kind of thing, that's how I look at it. You can do it to my own child. Correct. Or your own child. That's how I see it. That's, that's because this is a child that lives with you. That is your child. You, child. Raise that you, child. you can touch that child. You can touch your own child. You can touch my child. Correct. So I cannot tolerate that. Because guess what? My picking they no be safe. My sisters, they are picking they no be safe. My friends, they no feel you spend the night because they are, or they are picking. I cannot even take people's kids to, to, to come and stay with me for two days, three days, weekends. Because I don't know what happens. This lady, is kind of, this lady talks about her dilemma on whether or not to leave and the child that, that the, the her kids need need her right she can't leave mm-hmm. just something like that in yeah yeah i don't think that's even a thing that that's is, just yeah. like if, if she's going to go with her kids she has to go with her yeah. and no, no, I, that this man is going to fight right if it's not taken legally the man might fight like thinking that nobody knows or yeah. assuming that you don't take it legally but if it gets to a court of law where the man has to answer mm-hmm. then Automatically, this lady has custody of the kids. You should not be bothered about the kids. Well, it doesn't really matter. Because not only for Jerry, the custody is he. That's what I'm saying. You don't want to be out here. You don't want to be out here. I think, you know what? Okay, yeah, you want to say something. I I wanted to just add that, you know, sometimes the law back home tends to be like a parent trying to whoop the ass of the kid, right? How do you mean? Some things are really just... Closer. Some 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 things are really just uh, so baffling that mm-hmm. even you, even sitting as a judge presiding that that that, that case, oh, you, you, you are like you Talk know you, you, feel like, you feel like uh, putting oh, down the, 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 the rope and then the guy down. down. You know, oh my god! Of course, you cannot do that. Mm-hmm. You have just the ability to use your pen Mm-mm. and 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 the uh, 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 gavel or what they call it. Ask that woman for the naive. Right? Mm-hmm. And that, that's where, that, that, that's the only way you can. You can, you can, you can throw your, yes, you can yeah. throw a punch. That's so, what, this literally one, you have to just throw the books at him. That's what I'm doing. Yeah, I know that. Throw the books at him. And you know, Lina, talking about well, what you just mentioned, right, it just brings me back to when, um, I think we just got out of law school. So it was like my very first court session experiences or something like that. They brought this man in. It was to um, P.I., preliminary um inquiry they brought him from the cell and the case was this man <laughs> let me just divert a little bit oh lord have mercy my 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 time as a lawyer was crazy that's why sometimes i i'm very indifferent when certain things are happening because i've re- I really seen a lot of crazy things here not like i don't have emotions i have emotions but I, you know how you you have to train yeah, to not train and this was my my very first 
because I was weeping in court. I was I was crying in court. So um, they brought him. This man comes from a family. He has his his sisters, and then they get big compound. You know how family has a that Then you get he gets some other section where for they will eat the sisters, some of them were in Douala, and some of them were in Bamenda, in their own houses in Bamenda. Then big compound, they were in their general compound. And uh, uh, some of the sisters who were in Douala, their kids were in the big compound. So they began to they pass through their uncle house for go carry water or whatever. Mm -hmm. Now we're reading from the, from the complaint that they did, the statement that they took from uh, uh, at the level of the police station. This man, who is supposed to be an uncle to these children, the molest the picking them. I think there were three of them or four of them. Oh, it when I say molest them, no before the normal part. Now for police with number two, they come on. Oh, oh Lord. Just um I can't remember the judge that was presiding over. I think it was just Theresa. Theresa number two, it can so that prison okay. guard. We now the day on duty that they now bring them. You know when they bring you when they call you out, they go move you from van. You come and sit down. Then there's a prison guard with you. A man literally take the 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 now who for a gun. Mm -hmm. Everybody was so pissed. Then he say he didn't even realize if they it jammed the man so. And then you know the funny thing, the man they try for justify. Justify what? <laughs> oh man, I cried that I'm trying to and then. That became that statement. The police officer that took the statement did a good job. That means he write and word for word. Oh, Lord. Hey! I never ever read anything so heartbreaking like that later. I was crying. Now, after that session, the, that judge called me and she said, you have to be strong. You can't be doing this. You <laughs> cannot. She said, you are, you, are, you are very intelligent. I can see that. And I know you make a good lawyer. Emotional. Very emotional. You have to be tough. I will separate these things. It was so terrible. Emotion. Now I'm coming back to what you were trying to say. Say, imagine say you be the judge who now you the preside over a case like that. You hold it and then you go you go in and go. Everybody was see no. Normally, when, normally when they do um, PI, no before open court. What I mean, open court is they don't call other cases. People are not sitting in there. It's just you, the judge, and then maybe the your your lawyers or whatever. If you be being an open court, eh? Well, we come up with carry for up the building and now. I say no. He say no. Finish. Go back. Yeah. You go here. Your, your, your mom catches you messing up in the, in the, in the like somewhere out of the house. I, I said, <laughs> 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 oh man, see that, 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 that was, it's just crazy, it's just crazy. Because no, I, I'm, I'm getting emotional. Now, coming up, we're coming back to this, dude. Unfortunately, in some some cases in Cameroon, justice is kind of bought and sold, right? Mm -hmm. For the highest bidder, mm -hmm. if this abuser is a uh, unfortunately very well to do mm -hmm. and can buy uh, uh, justice. Have you seen a situation like that when somebody does really crappy stuff and still goes cut free, especially uh, in, 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 in such countries? It can happen. I am not going to sit here and try to lie about it. It can actually happen. Like you find a situation like this and the person is going to go cut free. But my time as a lawyer in Cameroon, I practice in Bamenda. Mm -hmm. I will give it up for the judges yeah. and the Are magistrates, and they try their best to do a good job. Right. I don't do case for Bamenda. I don't do my 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 family had a land dispute issue in Bafusam. Mm -hmm. I saw the when you say kangaroo, mm -hmm. <laughs> God level. <laughs> I saw that you understand in Bafusam. So I was able to compare two things. And Bamenda was way better, right? I don't, I, I don't want, because of what is going on in camera, I don't want to say the Anglophone, you, you get what I'm saying? I'm that's, trying to avoid that. I mean, yeah, let's avoid it. I yes, I'm trying can, to avoid but, that. But it's but like common law stuff. And yes, stuff and I practice in Bamenda, the judges tried their maximum. The highest, to, for the kind of situation, if you want to talk about maybe the, the, the person, didn't, they didn't sentence the person, probably the evidences. 
right where they bring her no be solid you know you know right so maybe the charge is where they prefer against the person no whole water with the evidence, with the evidence. you understand don't come and sue me for theft and you come there you're talking about a scrutiny of money or you're talking about stealing by tricks or you're talking about misappropriation no, different. the evidence will not go to the, the, the charges to the charges okay. now what they will normally do is they will dismiss it have you refile okay for a different uh, charge for a different charge the only thing that can go wrong is if the evidence no Nothing. but when it is tack 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 but you see the person you see the victim uh, lawyers will just clamor behind court, court session will start now uh -huh. you go some people that move to, to the bar uh -huh. they, no, we all will be joined that case. Oh. Correct. All will be joined that case. This, this kind of very crappy one where the, even the the, 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 the the water is trying to whoop the, the you guy. Can, you <laughs> can imagine. If, if somebody happens to find their way out of that, even in the neighborhood, they will... Oh, it's jungle justice. Oh, it's jungle justice. Yeah. It's jungle justice. Yeah. And the, 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 the judge, whoever decides that case, is going to be in trouble. Yeah. So. Oh yeah, yeah you are not free. Oh, you're not free. The only crappy cases are like they, they don't pass the smell test. Like it's yes. just obvious. Like obvious. You cannot, yes. You know, you there's nothing you can do about it. This is bad. Yeah. Yeah. Is. So now my my the, the next part that I said I, we're going to talk about is my my follow up conversation with the lady because when she sent me this, um, I didn't have the time to talk to her immediately, so I I got to her to her later because her story just ended. The part where she said, um, I want to leave, but I cannot leave because of my children. It was her saying, not like she doesn't want to leave the marriage. She was just trying to say that, I just want to go away. I just want me ground open, swallow me. You understand where, yes. I, where I'm coming from? Oh, okay. Because it's, she no, is beaten. I yeah, because I was so different. I thought it was yeah. like, I don't understand. No, 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 She's out of the house already. Of course, of course. She is out of the house already. She was. I don't know if you can actually sit in one space with that kind of a person after you find out. It's, it's she, not, said, uh, she said she threw up in her mouth when that child confessed, uh, confirmed that, yes, that has been happening. He said they disgust. You understand? Just find your interest in having everything. Everything, everything concerned. She said the wow. whole house just reeks of, I don't know what, molestation. You know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> He moved yeah. out because took the you, child you, with you, you, out you, that you, you have to smell for, for, for that disgust. Because the whole house yeah. is just thinking. Yeah. And like you can smell it in your yeah. mouth. Yeah. Smell it in your mouth. Yeah. So she said, she said, so when I what she said, no, Dillis, I'm not I'm not saying that I don't want to leave. This is no longer a marriage. Of course it's not. This is hell. I'm going to carry this on my conscience for the rest of my life. Yeah, she said... She yeah, will feel guilty because she feels like she brought the little this, girl into that situation. Yeah. When they talk the whole time, so that is where the problem is. That is where her. someone's problem is, yes. No, yeah, she said... She, she, she said, well, this child was going to stay with her and leave whenever she wants to leave. She said, I cannot... I can never let this child go. This is right. my child. Yep. She so said she had not done any paperwork, any adoption paperwork. Me and her were actually working on adoption. She wants to just adopt the child. She said, I don't know. I don't know how, what kind of compensation I can do. Yeah, she needs to make amends. Yeah, she feels you know? like she needs to make amends, mm -hmm. which rightfully I think is, is, is the right way. Exactly. To like, just bring the child closer. Like, just, yeah, that's the only way, you know. Yeah. So, so uh, she said, I, I, I wasn't talking about not being able to leave my marriage. I'm done. But I wanted a situation where I wish I could have a situation where I could just leave. Man, just die, just forget yeah, about it. Yeah. Just disappear. Many things just end for play when you end. You understand? That's that's where that's where she was coming from. But again, like she said, have kids. I have this thirteen-year-old too. And the only person in this world right now that can really help these kids is this lady. Yeah, is that lady? Her, her husband is nowhere to be. In fact, he's, he's not a person. I, I, as, it's, as yes, I'm sorry. I, me too. But me as, too. As concern. This is not a human person. Me too. Yeah. He's something else that I don't know a word for. But this is not a human, right? Right. Uh, I don't know about the other second chance forgiveness. All I don't know about that for now, right? Yeah. This person is just not a yes. person. So the only person that can save these children or help even this 13-year-old is this lady who is who apparently is looking towards that, which is a good thing. Yeah. I think that's... Uh, I, you know, what, like I said, she's so... She's, she's just... She's a good person, originally. 
you know, yeah, trying to take a child. From my initial intent. Yes, she's yeah, a good lady. A good and she she just, she told me, so I was asking her, I said, now this is the situation. You're talking to a lawyer. Forget about Yad Mama. You're talking to Dillis Esau Esquire. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> you guys are crazy. So I said, I'll you, be looking for trouble anywhere now. Ah, don't try. You go to jail. <laughs> So I, I, was, I was just, I was asking her, I said, now when you bring a situation to me like this, of course I'll try to, I'll put it up, but I'll have my own conversation with you. And coming from the perspective of a legal mind, I want you to sue. Yeah. yeah I, I want you to sue. I, I don't think there's even another alternative. Yeah. <laughs> Personally, yes. I really do not think there's another alternative because... This is what this is writing to yeah. yeah, you know, I, I brought it up because you know, is leaving him open for another victim. Yes, yeah. exposing other people. I, mean, I don't know what our, our, our viewers think. People, some people may have maybe very brilliant ideas on uh, maybe the next steps. Yeah. But this is just our opinion on, on yeah. Hannah, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. So. I, me, I think, I think that I told her. I said, me, I want you to sue. But again, this, you know, looking at the society where we're coming from, this is her side of the story, right? Mm -hmm. She said, Dillis, I don't have the kind of opportunity that you have living in America where the society is going to protect you, right? Protect your kids, protect, you know, whatever it is that you stand for. I live in a society where they will shame the victim. Oh, that kid. I don't know. I don't want people to, I don't even want this to go out further than it has already gone out but i still want this man to be punished yeah the genie has left the bottle it's not going back it's in that bottle, yes right it's, it's out there it's out there. so it's kind of in the dilemma right now you understand you know why made this thing go further because there's no way you can in cameroon yes it's true that in court they're not going to bring the victim right but people go no Talk. people go no no what is where her problem is no you know this speaking goes solid in they're going to be pointing fingers at school yeah, no, neighborhood. And with, there's something crazy I just thought about. We have people, if this man goes to, in fact, I think he will, when he goes to jail and comes out, there are people in that man's family that are going to be trying to even hurt that little girl because they made their brother go to jail. Yeah. You're going to see crazy stuff like that. So you see, you see where the lady is coming from? Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be like, okay, the, you made my uncle, my father, my, this person went, go, went to jail because of you, the little girl that they brought from the village and stuff. That girl didn't do anything wrong. Nothing right? at all. You see where that lady is coming from? I understand. She, she is in a very tight position. Now, she also says, apart from the little girl, she has her own kids. Teachers, they, they go talk. Other friends will talk to their parents. He go reach for school. Now that begin that way, their papa be the, oh my their God. house girl. That's the crappy part. And you know that these stories don't go, they never go away. Yeah, never. It's all right. He go, it's yes. Passing from generation to generation. From one generation to the other. Even the little girl, the 13 year old, in the next, in the near future, if she finds love and wants to get married, there's one. <laughs> they will do the story. person who's going to say, you don't know that between in those days. Yeah, 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 yeah. They story the horse for thousands. Yeah. So that they might even see their prison. Yeah. And then it go give that ma that might want marry cold feet. feet. No, that's a, that's somebody who does not want to marry that girl. It's as simple as that. Come close to your mind. Okay. I mean, in my opinion, somebody if you have cold feet for somebody you genuinely love because of a what? situation that they were a victim of, yeah, yes, the it's it's they have no control. You, you really did not care about that person to want to be with them. And we know where we, we know, some, we know like some people in, in our society back home. They're just like, and I thought it may not be the man, right? It may be the man's own family. family. Yeah. Yeah. The man, the man will be married in love with this 13 year old, oh. and, and the aunties and uncles will be like, You will that be killing the girl. Exactly, <laughs> that one. Okay, how about you? Why even go? You, you they go they go prefer man we eat on the ta 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 the whole neighborhood we no man no no man no yeah because again guess what they fail to see it that you know with this experience that this child is going to she want to preserve herself to the maximum she wouldn't want to go further and make the situation worse I mean she'll be a better person after this oh, right yes. right so but. It's so the human mind is messed up. Confusing. Yeah, I don't even. It's it's such a difficult 
um, oh. um, situation. Yeah. Such a difficult yeah, topic. Our to house really go out to this lady. Uh, yeah. We didn't want her. I didn't to disclose, of course. But we really, really, really feel for you, and we hope that you find the courage to to, to handle this. Uh, the way do, what, do what you have to do. do. You have to do the right yeah. thing. Do what I mean, you have we to. we can only say what we want to say here because what we think we feel about that strongly. But uh, we really pray that you find the courage to address this thing the right way, legally, especially in my opinion. So please, uh, our viewers and listeners out there, you have any comments, you have any advice for this lady, please uh, share with us and we're going to share with her. She She's following and she would read your comments mm -hmm. and maybe it's mm -hmm. going to help her so we can get better together. Yeah. So, uh, Lionel, you want to say anything to conclude on this? I mean, I would just want this lady to stay strong because, you know, uh, you, you are... No difficulty comes when you are down there. It comes when you are, you are at your prime, you know. So you have to stay strong for your kids, for this 13-year-old. You know, she is someone you want to keep so close. And, again, you know, just courage to you. You are doing the right thing. And, again, talk to other people that have a right mind to have their own opinions on this. It's a good thing you reached out to Yad Mama, who is legally qualified, and you know, and and it, it has reached us. We are also sharing how we feel, and, and our whole again, community is going to be sharing and uh, talking. Probably it's going to help somebody else to, yeah. to, maybe we'll, to come to we'll, talk. To you talk, know. you know, it's going to help somebody so, share their own yeah, story. That's why this, a lot of these things happen. It, yeah. People don't even know how to talk about it. They don't even know how to go about. Um, getting their their abusers um, um, held accountable held something. accountable for the things that they have done to them. Yeah. So um, if you're watching us, if you're listening to us, we just want to let you know that this is something that you can do. You're encouraged to go to the nearest police station, report it, talk to somebody, seek help. You know because if you don't, it, it's no way your fault. You don't want to you know yeah. carry on with something that is. Completely somebody else's yeah, fault. We cannot shame the victim here, right? Yes. We, 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 yeah. we, 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 we do not do that. It's not going to happen yeah. anywhere. So um, uh, to all of you that are listening and watching us, we just want to say um, thank you again. Um, this has been a very difficult episode for me. Well, I don't know about like, you guys. For real, like, it is. Yeah. I, I, I don't even feel like cracking any joke yeah, on this episode because this, it's, it's been nothing funny you know? but, but yeah. that is, that, that's the reason why we have this conversation we're going to have very light-hearted ones at times we're going to laugh all episode mm -hmm. we're going to have ones that are serious as this one so it's going to be the highs and the lows yeah. in this journey together let's rock it together you. so we're trying to make sure that if you if there's somebody out there who has been through such a situation probably when they were younger mm -hmm. they may be having difficulties right now in their life because they did not talk about it because it didn't come public this way. You can still seek therapy. You can still talk to somebody. At times, just talking to somebody about something which happened to you is a great therapy. So please come out, talk about it, and let's have this conversation and get better together. All right. So thank you guys so much. Don't forget to comment if there's anything you want to suggest. Comment section is definitely open. Um, if there's any disagreement that you have, of course, you know, comment section, always open. This is our show. This is, when I say our show, I'm not talking it's about your show. <laughs> I'm not talking about <laughs> the three of us. I'm talking about all, all of you of watching, listening. It belongs to us all. Just let us know what next you want us to talk about. Thank you guys so much and have a wonderful week. Thank you. Good night. Ciao. Peace. <laughs>